Let's get to a story that is positively Las Vegas. Closed for Southern Nevada's homeless community. A small army of volunteers now going to spend all day sorting through those donations. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey live to show you what's happening just hours before the real heavy lifting begins. Sean, how's it going? It's going great so far, Kalina and Dave. Taylor Booth, the program manager at Homemade Southern Nevada, is joining me right off the bat on this one because there's a lot to talk about. First off, there's a ton of stuff that's going to be sorted through right here, but we talked about that a little bit this morning. I want to focus on these aid packages that you're also going to be handing out at an event later this month. Tell me what we've got going on here. It looks like some nice backpacks, other things. Give me a breakdown. What is this? Yeah, we have socks, toothpaste, toothbrushes, sunscreen, shampoo, conditioner, a razor, things that these people need every day in their lives. And why this stuff in particular? Because, you know, a lot of people would think, yeah, you definitely need socks, things along those lines. But uh, hygiene items are also very important to this population, isn't it, as well? Absolutely, yes. Hygiene items, they just make their everyday lives a bit better. Things that, you know, people think about clothes, but they don't think about sunscreen, the sun, the heat out here in Las Vegas. You know, it's vital. Yeah, outside for five minutes, I know that it can really hurt me. And a lot of these people can be outside all day long, so very important. Uh, we are essentially the, the ninth state in terms of the rate of homeless population in the nation here. Why is it important that people step up and, and try and help the people who are struggling with houselessness? You know, it's so important because like you said, we are the ninth state. It's We have such a large homeless population here that the help is really needed and events like this help them. Absolutely. I, one of the final things I've got here is we're gonna loop back around there's a lot of clothing here. How, how is this going to be broken down today? What's, what's going to be done with all of this? So we'll be sorting all the clothes by size and type of clothing, shirts, pants, shoes, etc., to make the shopping experience easier for them. Absolutely. And so that, that shopping experience that Taylor just referred to here is going to be happening on the 10th at the Care Complex, where they're going to allow a lot of these people to come in and essentially pick what they want, walk out with it all for free. That helps them in their lives. We're going to have a lot more information over on our website on how uh, to, to make sure that this all gets smoothly and you know where it is. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. All right, Sean. Thank